In this video, we're going to look at how to use summing matrices and what they're used for. A summing matrix is a special type of matrix that's used to add the rows or columns of the matrix. They only consist of one as the elements, and the number of rows or columns in these summing matrices depends on the number of rows or columns in the matrix you're trying to sum up. There are two ways to use summing matrices. The first is by post multiplying with a column summing matrix. This adds up the rows. Post multiplying infers that the summing matrix is at the end of our calculation. We can also pre-multiply with a row summing matrix to add up the columns. Pre-multiplying means that the summing matrix is at the start of our calculation. If we look at the theory behind multiplying matrices, we can easily see why this post multiplication adds up our rows. Because we're multiplying by one in the summing matrix, we are getting the same number as the original matrix, and then we add them up. We can see the same thing happening when we pre-multiply with the summing matrix. Let's look at an example. What summing matrix sums the columns of this matrix? Well, we need to remember that pre-multiplying with a row summing matrix will add up the columns. The answer can be seen here. Important to see that the number of columns in our summing matrix is equal to the number of rows in our original matrix. A very similar question is now asking what summing matrix will sum up the rows of this matrix. Again, we need to remember that post-multiplying with a column matrix will add up the rows. The answer can be seen here. Again, take note of the number of columns and the number of rows in our matrices. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment if you have any questions.